Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, Napoleon's Legacy as the British Empire. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, what were we doing? I don't really remember. Uh, let's see, we're prioritizing Poland and Lithuania. We're at 53 relations with them, so we're almost ready to uh, have them in our sphere, which would be nice. Uh, let's see, South Africa, Persia, and Brazil all have some rebels going on. Arc no liberals up here in Persia, but they have a 21 stack. I'm hoping that they can actually, you know, deal with their rebels at some point. That'll be good for us. Brazil, I think they were dealing with their rebels just quite fine with a 62 stack. Yeah, 62 and 53, they should be okay there. And then what's going on in South Africa? You have a 3 stack, but you have a 2 stack, so you're basically worthless. We'll send our 6 stack up there, kill their 3, and then just come back to uh, the Zulu kingdom down here. This is the Zulu kingdom, right? That's who we annexed. Yeah, the Zulu. And that's all okay. How big is our army? We have 377 brigades. We can train another, like, 30. So that's what? Like, almost a million men in our army? Which I think is pretty respectable. I would say that's pretty alright. So let's see... Like, is there any crisis going on? Like, I want a crisis to fire. Not the one in Ireland, because I don't want the British Union to basically show back up. But, you know, if Greece wanted to, you know, do some stuff, if Poland, Lithuania wanted to do something, then, you know, I would, I would back them. But they just need to actually start the rebellion. And what's going on in Dainam? They're fighting Burma. Okay, I'm not sure. I'll give them military access. They're trying to annex Anam. Which is the central province. I don't know what the hell it is with Burma, but they just want to make the world's ugliest country. You're neutral right now. I mean, I would kind of like to take this territory. Burma is civilized, so I'm assuming they're probably going to have the upper hand. 11 out of 30 military attacks. Yeah, Burma probably isn't going to win. I'm going to subsidize the Vietnamese. But I don't see them doing too well. I mean, they also have a uh, Cambodia down here, but I'm assuming they're not really going to be able to help out that much. Yes, of course we'll attend. Who, who's part of the uh, the Fourth Olympic Games? Russia, the United States, Ireland, France, Italy, Prussia, and the Portuguese. Okay, you know, there might be more people listed there. I don't know if it actually it might just apply to every single country on the map. I'm not too sure. But, you know, it's always it's a plus 25 opinion bonus and prestige. I don't think there's ever a reason to not do it. Yeah, the Philippines, though. They want their independence, and they want an independent communist Philippines. I wonder if they're going to be able to get it. I'm not too sure. The, the Italians are just kind of stuck in Catalonia for now. Yeah, so yeah, the Burma is probably going to win that war. Oh, Spain's doing something. What are you doing? They're actually trying to annex southern Spain. Af what? They're trying to annex southern Portugal. Well, that's a little bit odd. I can't really, can I back, Por I can't really back Portugal because we're not friendly with them. Also, we have a truce. So we couldn't really do anything there regardless. But yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit odd. So you know what, Spain, you can do that if you want to. You know, I'm not going to really stop you. Strive to extend freedoms. A full citizenship, I think, is always just good. Especially, you know, being a huge immigrant country. Having full citizenship, I think, is just probably always good. So, let's see, you're 30, you're missing an artillery and two dragoons, are we training? Well, we actually have a lot of people we can, oh, that's national focus is not recruitment. Recruitment looks a little bit less nice, but still. We want two dragoons and a cannon. See, so yeah, that should be fine for that army, that should get them up to... No, you're missing something else, too. You're missing an infantry. So I guess we'll train an infantry here as well. Okay. And then that should be good there. For now, at least. 
Should we go help the Persians? I, gu I guess so. Can I even get military access through all these people? So we should have it through... How many countries do we need? Like Afghanistan? Would not. Would even one of these countries give me military access? No, they don't. They just don't like me. Which, you know what, isn't too surprising, given the circumstances, but... 159 ships. We Are we upgrading our, like, navy? Because I think that was something I wanted to do. And actually, I think that was something I wanted to do before getting some of these other techs I have. So I think that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to expand the naval bases. And Sally, there is... I just was just, like, a build all... For naval bases. Just just as many in the, around the world as you could possibly afford. Just because we need ironclads. We're going to need battleships and something in the future as well. And I feel like we're lacking at least a little bit here. Let's expand the naval base here. Expand the naval base basically everywhere else as well. Just to get us more colonial power. But I don't think that actually matters at all. I don't think that actually does anything. So let's expand here, expand it here. In Manitoba and in Iqaluit. Vancouver Island. Uh, we don't own anything up there, but we do own uh, these provinces, so build them in Seattle and Portland. Then we got Belize down here. Uh, which one of these islands is upgraded? Is it St. Thomas? St. Thomas, St. Vincent. Upgrade here. And... We'll let the game just kind of run in the background while we're doing this. I, w I just wish it was a hockey. It would make this so much faster. Uh, let's see. Patriots, well... I think just going for like a pro-military is pretty alright. So let's do that. There's so many, like, separate provinces here. So there's, like, a ton of naval bases right next to each other. A lot of these don't even have a level 1 yet. Which actually isn't too surprising, because as soon as we colonized the, uh... As soon as we colonized Africa, we kind of just abandoned it. So let's get a naval base here. And I think... We'll get one in Djibouti as well, but I think that's good for now. We'll just kind of leave uh, Asia and them. To the USCA. I kind of completely forgot about them. But that kind of sucks. I will, we'll, you know, we'll basically keep influencing them. Yeah, there we go. The Neapolitan Spain and Southern Portugal. It wasn't really a hard war for them, was it? It's, it's actually kind of weird just looking at it with, like, different borders for Portugal. So, who won? The police state efficiency against all rebels. So, the socialists won again. They got 36% of the vote. Who the hell is the Imperial Party? I'm assuming those are the fascists. Yeah, they are. The Imperial Party. So let's see, is there any more, like, you need something. You need an infantry. So can we train an African infantry? Because that'd be useful. So let's get one of you. How's North America? Did you get, like, a full, you have a 57 stack. One, two, okay. 39. Oh, you're missing an engineer? We go to Barry for now. Do we have another engineer in this army? We don't. Which kind of sucks. Are we trading more troops here? Or just the ones in Europe? Nah, it's just the ones in Europe right now. Okay. So... I guess we'll train an engineer. It sucks that, like, these islands count for North America. So we kind of have to do it, like... A little bit separately, so let's just build an engineer. You will need two engineers. 
So let's get that. You will need another cannon. And then five infantry. And are the dragoon are the guards better than infantry? 1412 against 1214. Discipline 100. They do have more maneuvers, so maybe they are better. But these guys are just cheaper, so I don't think it's really that much of an improvement. Yeah, so there we go. We'll just uh, build these troops. They'll go deploy over there. And then I think that should be good. Are you westernized yet? No, you're not. Like, you're so close to being a westernized nation. Pay our military groups, cracking, so we have fuel now. So let's see. We can get more. Uh, what's this guy says? Tanks, doesn't it? Yeah, with infiltration, we can get tanks. But I think just going for maybe like steel steamers, to try to get pre dreadnoughts or to get uh, battleships. I think we probably wanted like at least get some of those going. I mean, it's 1908, so I'm expecting a world war to happen at some point. And knowing how Victoria 2 works, I'm very surprised there already hasn't been like three world wars. So let's see. Let's go back to... Well, let's look at relations. Everybody basically loves us. There are a few countries who aren't, you know, on great terms with us. The United States and France mostly. But a lot of people really, you know, they really enjoy us. They like us being here. Yeah, 8% fascist compared to our... Well, we're 6% actually, which is kind of surprising. We don't have a... We have zero revanchism. So I don't know really why they're so mad. But I guess it's okay. Build Navy. Yeah, Battleship needs a level 4. Do we even have a level 4? Like, can we even build level 4? Allows Naval Base. So that's one, two, three. No, we need this one too. So we're actually a little bit of ways away. We probably should have gone for that one first. I probably should have uh, checked that out before. But still. Yeah, they've mobilized. Poor Portugal. Not a lot of people like them, surprisingly. And now they're getting sieged down by rebels. Do they even have an army? They have 19 brigades. So I'm surprised we're getting sieged down by rebels at all. Ooh, oil. In... I don't know what the hell... What province was that? I'm not even too sure. Which one of these is resources? It's like RGO output, right? Is this, uh... Whoop. Topeka. Okay, so we have oil. I think that's our first oil province that we have. Yeah, no, that's really all the oil we have right now is just coming in from that one province. There's a lot of oil right now in Premishil. Like, the best supply of oil in the world is right here. And it is in our sphere, so we are getting that oil first, and that's, you know, really, really useful. I don't really care about changing these guys into cores. Like, it's not that big of a concern of mine. Like, they'll turn into cores regardless once enough, uh... Once enough people move there. I mean, they're, they're states and stuff already, so at some point they'll turn into cores. But it's just not worth the infamy hit to do it that way. Labor unions. That's fine. Not a big deal to me. Intermean immediately, intermean eventually. Yeah, let's go immediately. Where do the French have Corfu? Didn't I have Corfu? I could have sworn that the British Union had Corfu, so I had to take it. Or did I release Greece? I don't know exactly what happened, but I could have sworn that wasn't French. Also, Tibet, why are you mad? You're allied with Punjab. You have no brigades. And does this give us money? I don't remember. 
Yeah, 25% tax. This blue line here means that we can't cross the border, so we need to get access to Burma. They would not accept. Are they still at war? They are still at war with Dainam. But yeah, I don't actually through... No, it's the blue line here as well. We'd have to go all the way up to... Into China to get past the Himalayas. So yeah, that's not happening. As much as I would like it to happen. It just wouldn't. Yeah, it's like they're allied with each other, but they're on the other side of the Himalayas. So they can't actually help each other. So that's a little bit weird. So who are these rebels? China's communist. Interesting. How big is the Chinese army? 29 brigades is really nothing at all. Let's see. Oh, she's got all these three stacks everywhere. Where's my transports? Yeah, okay, they're still sitting over here. Let's, you know, pick up all these armies, which I've been meaning to do for the longest while. So, yeah, you guys get in here. And then we'll probably just dock you in, like, down here or something. I'm not too sure where we'll actually put you. We got still steamers. That's good, but we can't actually do anything with that information. Because we don't have battleships. Yeah, so you're all in the boats now. Let's go over to Puerto Rico. Actually, you go to this province. Uh, so both these people can go in at once. Should we sit about... Actually, we probably should send them to North America, right? Like, I think that makes more sense. Than having them sit down here. And once again, we're making so much money. That I feel like we can just kind of cut taxes on everybody. And still make a decent amount of money. Like, 1600 still. Even spending this much on our military, this much on uh, subsidies. We're still making a profit and people are going to have more money this way. Upgrade as many factories as we possibly can. How many unemployed people are there now? It's still so much. Like, it's insane. I had a machine parts. Are we not buying those up ourselves? We are. Is there just not enough supply of machine parts? No, even now, there's still not a lot of... Machine parts. Which is amazing to me. Italy, the United States. Like, we make the most, but we're still only making 63 a day. And it costs how much to even build a factory? Uh, let's just take a quick look. Like, let's just say we want to make a steel factory. It's 172. So even then, it would still take days. Okay, so we allow construction of the iron, or allow construction of the battleship. Well, we can't do that because we don't have the, we don't have the naval bases to do it. So, you know, that's pretty bad. Let's abandon USCA for now. Decrease the opinion of the United States? Yeah, sorry, America. But you're not getting access here. We'll let pull into our sphere. And there's still rebels in Persia. Uh, they're getting kind of bad. So maybe we'll send our transport fleet there. We do have a 24 stack. So I guess you're going to be the, uh, the Persian relief effort. Go dock up in Persia. Persia, give me military access. There we go. So yeah, let's go to like one of their provinces. Like, you know, try to help them out at least somewhat. Yeah, we should try again. I don't think there's ever a reason to not do it, I guess, unless you don't have the money. But it's always so cheap that it's never not worth it. Because it's like 2,000 pounds when you have like 3.5 million. And I'm assuming a lot of the other countries in the world are probably a lot richer than that, too. China wants an alliance? You're not sure, China. We can have an alliance. I don't know how this really benefits us. Because China isn't really that strong of a country. I think they've gone back to being an absolute monarchy. I don't know why, but they have. And are these still communists? Well, we have some nationalists. We have some communists. There's a lot of people here. And a lot of people don't like the Chinese government right now. Where is actually the capital of China? Because I don't think they have Beijing. Oh, they do have Beijing. Where the hell is the capital? Oh, it's right here. 
to Nanjing. It's the capital right now of China. Okay. Well, I guess that's fine. What's Afghanistan doing now? They're at war with Kiva? Why are you at war with Kiva? You're trying to annex half of Kiva? Well, uh, you know what? Sure, Afghanistan, you can do that. I'm not going to stop you. But I do think this is going to be a good time to end this video. So thanks very much for watching. My name's been Ansem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, comment thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.